Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. In the previous tutorial we discussed about a pattern program that is if we enter number of rows then we can see the stars in this particular pattern right. Here instead of stars if you want you can use alphabets or numbers. Here if I want one and I'll save this and run this and if I enter three and here we can see one 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 or instead of this if you use an alphabet and if you enter and we can see this pattern right today in this tutorial we'll discuss another pattern program that is we want our output in this form that is single star in the first line three star in the second line and five star in the third line that is we want odd number of stars in the column here we can see there is no change in the rows that is if you enter number of rows is five then we'll get five rows and here there is a change in the columns so we'll see how to write this pattern program and here I'll ask the user to enter the input first then I'll use another variable k and I'll initialize this to 1 okay next I'll use for loop it is for rows so no change in this 1 to num plus 1 and in the jth for loop this is for columns. It will start from the 1 and it is till k plus 1. Now here I will print star and end is space okay now I'll come out of this loop and in the first for loop I'll write k is equal to k plus 2 and I'll use print statement for new line okay now I'll save this and run this okay enter the number of rows I'll enter 3 and here we can see the output it is single star in the first line three star in the second line five star in the third line okay okay now we'll see how our program will work first here we can see the input statement that is we are asking the user to enter the number of rows right so in the example we entered three so num value is three after entering the input it will save in this variable so now num value is 3 ok after that it will come to this statement that is k equal to 1 so we initialize the variable k with value 1 so value of k is 1 now ok now next it will come to the for loop as I said this for loop is for rows so i is an variable here and here we took range 1 to num plus 1 here num is 3 so range is from 1 to 4 right so what is the output from this 1 2 3 right and here i will take the first value that is i equal to 1 so now i value is 1 okay here i value is 1 now so next it will enter to the for loop and here another for loop is present it is for column and here j is an another variable and here range value is 1 to k plus 1 now k value is 1 so 1 plus 1 that is 2 so what is the outcome from this that is 1 right here 1 is included 2 is excluded so it will give the output as 1 so now j value is 1 here next it will go to this print statement and it will print this number star or alphabet so we'll get first one here okay 
after that space so here it will give space now control is here okay now control again goes to the for loop okay but in the range we can see only one value is present so it is already executed so it will come out of this loop and it will go to the execution of next statement that is k is equal to k plus 2 okay at first k value was 1 now 1 plus 2 now k value will be 3 now after executing this statement control will go to the print statement here nothing is present to display so simply it will go to the next line so now control goes to here okay now again after executing this statement control goes to the main for loop that is first for loop now i value will be incremented and now i value is 2 so here i value is 2 and range value is same that is 1 to num plus 1 and next it will enter this for loop and here we can see another for loop so it will execute this for loop now here in this case range will be changed because k value is not 1 now k value is 3 now so here range will be 1 to k plus 1 that is 1 to 4 okay and the output is 1 2 and 3 right now j will take the first value that is 1 and it will print this one so here we got 1 okay next end is space so control goes to here next again here from this print to control goes to the this for loop that is jth for loop jth value will be incremented here and it will take the next value that is 2 okay now jth value is 2 and it will go to this print statement and it will execute that so here we will get 1 okay next end is space so control goes to here and again control goes to this for loop and now j is incremented to 3 so now j value is 3 okay so again it will go to the print statement and it will write 1 here okay and now control goes to here that is end is space right control is here after this control will again go to this for loop but here range is from 1 to 4 that is 1 to 3 so it will come out of this loop and control goes to this statement that is k is equal to k plus 2 so now k value will be incremented actually k value was 3 so 3 plus 2 now it will become 5 and next it will go to this statement and it will print that means it will go to the next line control was here after executing print statement control goes to here that is next line now again here control goes to the for loop previously i value was 2 now it will be incremented to 3 so now the i value is 3 here then it will go to this for loop here range is 1 to k plus 1 now k value is 5 so this is 1 to 6 so it will give 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay now first j value is 1 it will go to this print statement and it will print this one here and now space so control goes to here now control will again goes to this for loop and now j will be incremented to 2 so j value will be 2 and it will again go to this print statement and it will print 1 and end is space so control goes to here now again control goes to this for loop and here j is incremented from 2 to 3 now j value is 3 and it will go to this print statement and it will print one here now control is here again the control goes to this for loop now j value will be incremented to 4 so j value is 4 here 
so again it will go to the print statement and it will print one and control is here now now again control goes to this for loop and now j value is 5 so it will go to this print and it will print and control is here now okay now again control goes to this for loop and here all the values are executed so it will come out of this loop and next statement will be executed that is k is equal to k plus 2 now k plus 2 that means k value was 5 5 plus 2 now k value will be 7 next it will execute this print statement so control goes to here okay now control goes to the main for loop and here range is from 1 to num plus 1 that is 1 2 3 so it will come out of this loop and it will end the execution so we got the output like this okay that's it for now don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care